Olawale Olatubi is the leader of the physiotherapy unit of Kasi Sports Medicine and a candidate in sports medicine of the University of Lagos. His main research area is sports injury prevention and orthopedic physiotherapy. Now he'll be talking to us about first aid treatments for common sports injuries. Now, I know a lot of you nowadays, you hear the salary when it comes to sports and football, and you want your sons to play football. Well, you should listen to this one. You'll learn something. It's great to have you, Dr. Lawali. You're welcome. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. So, you. as much, uh, it's, 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 I, I feel it's actually impossible for you to do, to, to play sports or to be a part of sports without having some form of injury or the other. So, yes. this, um, uh, having first aid when it comes to sports injuries is actually very important. Very How important, important is it? Um, one thing about sport injuries is that um, when the earlier you start the, in the treatment of a sport injury, the better it becomes. Hmm. The earlier you start treatment, the recovery rate is earlier. It's, 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 it's better. faster. Okay. It's faster. So when you have an injury, it's best to start treating yourself before going to the hospital and have it. So most, most times, these injuries can't be, can be treated yourself. Yourself? Yes. Okay, good. So let's get straight to it. What are the basic things one should have uh, in preparation? Because I think preparing for this kind of day, they would come. One yes. word you're that. So preparing yeah. for his kind of injuries are key. What are the basic things that uh, one needs to have? Yes, um, the minor injuries we, we usually have sometimes. Okay, let's go. Yes, the injuries, minor injuries. The minor injuries, the sprain, the sprain, strain. Last week I talked about the sprain, strain, okay. and some dislocation. Okay. The first thing you need to do, you need to have some things. Um, this is an ice pack. Okay. This is ice pack. This is um, the plaster. Uh, this is uh, the bandage. This is an ointment. And in sports okay. medicine, uh, we have um, a rule. We call it price. Price, okay. P R I C E. All right, talk to us about that. Okay, now, price stands for protection. Okay. When you have this injury, the, f the first thing you do is to protect the injured part. Okay, so let's say it's a sprain on the ankle. Yes. You, you first of all, how do you protect it? We are an ankle support. Hmm, an ankle support. Yes. How easy is it to access an ankle support? It's all, it's all, all around the um, sports, uh, sports shops and okay. pharmacy. Ankle all support. Right. Just to protect the injured part from further injury. All right, okay. Then, so then the R. next one is R. Yeah. R is rest. Hmm, rest. Yeah, I know that when it comes to recovery, rest is actually very, very important. Yeah. When you're playing football, when you're playing any sporting activity, when you're injured, rest the affected leg. Don't continue. Hmm. Affected, don't continue. Just rest. Give room for the injury to recover. Hmm. You know, I, and, uh, we, we hear about stories of um, professional footballers who they say play through a pain barrier. Maybe they use injections and all of that. They do have side effects, don't they? Yes. Taking painkillers when it comes to injections and all of that for people who want to play through the pain barrier. Yes, they do have side effects, but um, but most of those um, footballers are actually one of the key players and the coach might actually want this guy to really play this match. Hmm. So they have some injections that can actually fasten healing and okay, make you just okay. calm down and do the injury. But right. I'm just talking about the first thing, what you can do yourself, yourself before going to the hospital. Okay, it's the rest. Yeah, the rest. All right. Then and I, it's ice. Hmm, ice, okay. Most people don't know that ice is a very, very good pain reliever. So where, where does heat come? Because then, growing up, if we have any anything that happens, it's hot water yes. and the towel. Yeah. You just get anything. You, so, just, you just put it inside hot water. <laughs> so, you know, but then, I, I, but then come growing up, I noticed that the most important thing that I see whenever you see injuries is ice. Yes. So, yes, um, ice is very important in the first 48 hours of injury. Hmm. First 48 hours, when you use ice for at least 10 minutes, every two, two hours. Hmm. For the first 48 hours, it helps relieve the pain and reduce swelling. It's okay. Very important. So instead of using it, so you can now use it after the third day. After the third day. After the third day. But the first two, three days, it's best to use ice. Maybe it's because of uh, Nepal. We don't have so they, they can boil water fast. <laughs> and it's fast about to, to create ice. Ice takes most time, except ice is on standby. But it's an ice pack there. How do you use that ice pack? Uh, this ice pack is a, it's a re, um, an instant ice pack. It's okay. just majorly for sport, for sport people. Just okay. instant. So you put the ice inside it? This, this is just, you just fold. Okay. Then you shake. Oh, there, it already has ice it's inside. Shaking, it's, then okay. it's cool already. You can feel it. Okay. Can, can, yes, 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 yes. It is. It is. Yeah. It's an instant ice pack. It's okay. So after you, you can use it again. It, you can use it but again. Okay. If you don't have this, you can just get normal ice at okay. home. Don't apply ice directly on the skin, please. Oh, okay. Don't apply it directly. So it should be maybe on a, a towel, towel or something. Yes. Towel to apply because to it, apply. Can, it can cause skin burn. Hmm. So don't have to apply. So just for 10 to 15 minutes, okay. every two two hours for, every the first two two, hours. for the first two days. For the of first injury. two days. Great. I. Right. So let's move to C. C. Compression. Compression. Okay. Because most of the time in, in sport injuries, you have pain, swelling, and redness. 
and warm to touch, that's the inflammatory stage and um, signs of um, injuries. Okay. So when you have swelling, you use compression, you use elastic bandage. This is where the bandage comes in. Comes in, okay. To help you reduce the swelling. Mm. That's compression. Compression. Okay, and then E. The e. Then also for, for um, swelling elevation, that's elevation. In case you have swelling also, when you are lying down, you just elevate the affected parts. Yeah, so what does elevation really do? Because I know we, elevation is a very, very, we, we, we see broken ankles, broken legs, and you know, even your hands, they're always up. Yes, what does that do? Elevation actually um, counteracts the gravity effect, in the sense that when you move against gravity, mm. fluids and, uh, fluids and um, swelling, uh, the swelling and the fluids, the blood okay. moves to the, to the drainage. Okay. So when you have affected injury on your leg, you elevate with the pillow, Above your heart level, okay. and just put two pillows above your heart level. It okay. drains the fluid. It and drains the fluid. If it's your hand or your ankle or your, or your wrist, you put the pillows and it drains down. Hmm. So that's just it. Price, that P R I C E. I -C -E. Price, very Wonderful. important. Wonderful, very and important. And very, very effective after for the first three days of injury. Okay, just uh, let me round up with this. There's something, this one, this one happened to me. Apart from sporting, now somebody going to the gym, for instance, and it was a time when I, I was on a particular. Um, uh, a program and then I, I, I think I had some issues with my wrist and then for a very long time it doesn't pay, it, there's no pain but once I put exert some pressure on it and I start feeling the pain in the wrist and I'm talking about over a period of years okay. what kind of injury is that and how can you deal with something like that yes um, one thing about sport injuries is that um, when you have these injuries and when you have you use this normal injury um, um, price method that's yeah. the the LM things you need to do if this pain persists after three days mm. Seek medical attention. Okay. Okay. So All when right. you seek medical attention, right. you check the check, you check if there's any broken bones there, okay. if there's any dislocation, and maybe okay. so they check. Then they can do a lot of new. They can do intervention to make sure okay. it's good. So All probably right. you had right. this, um, the injury that uh, maybe you had a dislocation. You okay. didn't notice. Okay. So right. after it, and probably you didn't do this price method. This, yes, definitely. So if you didn't do this price, most of the time this injury might go. Okay. So if you have pain more than three days, see the doctors. Then if you cannot move the affected leg or mm. affected area, you area. see that you cannot move it, you cannot stand, you cannot walk, please immediately go to the doctor. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Olawale. It was great having you today. Mm -hmm. This is quite expository and uh, enlightening today. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank right. you very Thank much. You. Okay, all right, let's head over to Titi. Titi has uh, something for us. Uh, hello, Titi. Yes, indeed, I do. It's time for music, people. Yeah. Adjulu Chuku 